Hello YouTubers, Custom Comments here with another review of the McFarlane Spawn Series Overkill. And he looks pretty big. The box is huge, just like all the other mega figures. As you see on the side of McFarlane Toys, Spawn. And we have some artwork of Overkill on the back. Looking good. Bring that a little closer. You can see that. Okay, 22 moving parts. Some more artwork on this side of the box. And real open view of Overkill on this packaging, just like all the other ones, Cyborg. He's looking pretty good. I already know me and my girl will have to do some painting on this thing because the green I'm already not feeling. Not feeling at all. But let's get this big boy out and see how he is. Okay, so stay tuned. And here is Overkill all out of package. And right off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys, this is going to be a negative review on this figure. I'm already... Oh, if real Batman's... If he get this figure, and you know how brutally honest he is, he's going to trash this figure. Because I'm about to. Because this really don't make no sense for 50 bucks. I'm a falling figure. And it's just flat out cheap. It just, it, it's, it don't even make no sense, man. I mean... Oh my god, let me see where to start with this thing. Let's bring them up close where you can see the sculpt on it, which is we all know the scope is good. I'm gonna bring it in close where you can see this head scope on this guy, which looks really good, but it's not um the good as the scope is on the head, he didn't continue it on his body. Okay. But the head scope do look good. That's about the only positive thing about this figure. I mean, I don't, I really don't even want to do the review on it. But I have to let you guys know what you get into with this figure, man. Right out the box. Um, the green. It looks like a green where it's been sitting outside faded in the sun or something. This, I, this is an atrocious, man. Oh boy, this is atrocious. I mean, over it looks pretty decent, but oh my god, the the color choices and the 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 way it functions, man. It just I'm going to show you this, okay? That's loose as hell, okay? This arm right here won't stay up okay it's just, look at this is it, it just feels it, it don't know it feels cheap card is cheap but for 50 bucks no no way man and i could fix all of this but i shouldn't have to I'm, i mean we are going to customize this thing and i see the legs won't close no farther than that. So he has a wide stance right off the bat. Let's see. Which that's not bad, but it just oh my god, it just don't feel right. Okay. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on this figure because it's upsetting for 50 bucks. It's really upsetting. So um Let's go over articulation. The head can look up that much, okay? Head can look up that much, look down a little bit. The, the chest, the big chest will stop it from looking down that far. Okay, he has tilt. He can go side to side. This arm can go up that far. This one cannot because of the uh, 
this floating piece that right there is hitting the shoulder this piece right here let's see if I can let you guys see that you see that in there this piece comes up to hit the so that that that's all range you're gonna get out of this arm right here okay this is you see on a a pig you can swivel all around you got a big hinge and the range of the elbow that's it straight that's it not even 90 degrees okay it is an elbow swivel as you can see here okay uh, this waist which you already seen how that moves it's just go forward that much back that much this arm is loose as hell you see it shaking I mean clay face was sort of felt loose but it will hold a stay in position when you hold the arm up this just falls down okay you get big hinge hands you can swivel it okay legs can go out that much at least they do go out okay but they come in that much okay you get some, no thigh swivel uh, I'm not gonna count that as thigh so you get a single knee bend okay you get also that rotates the, the feet on a huge hinge you see that you get that no toe articulation you get a swivel okay uh, the legs can go back that much it can kick up that much okay and, and that's that's about it that's about it I'm already ready to take this thing apart and go ahead and start customizing cause this review straight out the box is I'm sorry guys this is just a negative review man I mean he's gonna look good cause we're gonna hook him up but whoo man straight out the box Guys, I'm sorry. It's nothing positive I can say about this other than the face scope. He feels brittle. He feels... He don't feel durable. I don't know what's up with that. Wow. This got to be the most shittiest figure I've gotten from it falling. And you see the fins on his gauntlet. Uh, he has a little bit of metal coming out of his back. Boy, this ain't no comparison with the older one, which I do have that one too. No comparison with, the, with that overkill. But at least we do have something to go by. Or what we're going to go by to paint this dude up. Okay. But yes, guys, straight out the box. And as you see, detail, detail all over the place. We know my father can give us that, but now you're starting to be cheap with the articulation. I mean, this thing is loosey goosey, man. And I'm just sorry to give you all a negative review, but uh. We're gonna hook them up. We will hook them up. But for now, this is a disappointment. I like all the mechanical devices on them. Looks good. I hate this green, man. And I'll get the uh, other one to go um, to compare it to. So stay tuned. And here is the overkill, the infinitive overkill. And you see, look at this. This is straight up art. This is straight up, just like a kid toy. 
Man, look at the green. What in the world made him go with this green? The metallic darker green. And I forgot I did go over all these mechanical tubes. Painted them gold. Some time ago. So at least we we do have something to go by to paint this dude up. I mean, you get the these pieces going in his spine. And you get this. <laughs> Look, there's no comparison with this thing. So, man, look at, oh my God, I can't believe my falling go from this to this. I don't, oof, very disappointing, man. He was ahead of his time with this stuff. Cause some of this stuff looked better than a lot of figures today. Okay. Just dope. Let's them back here and, and bring this in. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. I'm sorry. Move him out the way. Yeah. So let's get a height measurement off of Overkill. He's about nine and a half inches tall. Okay. And he just feels cheap. He lightweight. He don't feel heavy. I mean, he's heavy in a six inch figure, a seven inch figure, but for this size, you'd be thinking you get more. But uh, I do like the head scope, and we're going to go from there. We're going to go from there, and I guess we can do a few size comparisons before. Um, we end this review. Okay, so stay tuned. And here he is with the Kickstarter spawn. Okay, with the custom cape. As you can see, he's a whole lot bigger than spawn. Okay. And here he is with the with Fallen Toys Lobo. And the Marvel, I'm, I'm sorry, Marvel Legends build a figure of Venom Pool. Okay. And that's how he compares to them. And here he is with uh, Clayface, my fallen Clayface. That's how he compares with him. He is taller than Clayface. And here he is with my custom Rampage Hulk by Diamond Select. A Marvel Select, and I think they're almost the same height. Okay. And here he is with two of my favorite McFarlane figures. Um, the Builder figure Bane and King Shark. And this wasn't a Builder figure though, but now these are some dope figures, man. Okay. And here he is with two of one, well, two of my favorite customs of my fallen figures, the um, Gunslinger Spawn, and the one we just got through with, uh, Deathstroke. Okay, let me see how he compares with them. And here he is with one of my fallen best figures he made. He's made uh, the Violator, and I got him, you know, knees bent and everything, hunched over. He's the Violator's much bigger, much better figure, better quality. Okay. So yeah, guys, my final thoughts on this figure. I'm sorry, I cannot recommend this figure. I know it's a bunch of McFarlane fans out there, you know. But I'm one of them, but I cannot recommend. Unless you are customized or you just like working on shit that need worked on, okay, this is for you because most definitely I have a lot, <laughs> my hands full of this guy, not just painting them, but fixing loose joints and everything and just making them 
more functional okay so I'll take this thing apart and uh, I'm sure in the next review he's gonna be all painted up and uh, he will not be loose like that but uh, right out the box <laughs> I don't know um, he just got a lot of issues okay all right everyone well if you got any questions or requests make sure to hit me up in the comments or hit me up on instagram and i will be sure to get back with you all right all right everyone take care god bless and please be safe peace